So I get it all the time. Liam, there's so much going on in the AI space. Which one do I focus on? Which lane do I go down? What, what type of technology do I work in? Well, luckily for you in this video, I'm going to completely obliterate all that and just give you five simple directions that you can take your AI career. You can basically turn off your brain for the rest of it. If you just keep working away, there is absolutely no chance that you don't make money, right? And you just focus on this, block everything else out, you will be successful. So we're gonna break these five down now. The first one is going to be AI voice agents. Now, if you've been watching the channel recently, you will have seen that I had a lot of recent videos coming out with people from my accelerator and from the community who've been absolutely crushing it with voice agents. And there's a reason for that. It's because they have a narrow and niche enough to be specific and their businesses can understand the use case. They kind of swap out existing systems. Like you take a receptionist, you swap it out with an AI receptionist, or you take someone who's doing outbound qualifying and you swap it out with an AI uh, outbound voice agent to do qualification for you. So these things are providing an ROI. I mean, the big question is are we in a bubble are we not in my opinion if you're looking up into the enterprise area i think you are getting a little bit bubbly like the in terms of the roi you saw that 95 percent stat that came out a while ago i'm sure but if you're looking at small businesses they are really 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 benefiting from these voice agents so i'll link some of the recent pods i've done on the channel here um, with some of the guys who are really pioneering and, and crushing the, the voice ai space right now i'll put those down below so you can check it out but they fully break down the best offers and the best things that are making the money right now and also the roi from them i want you to pick these based on what you think you're interested in you will succeed at what you're most interested in so if you've got a little thing you got a little crush on voice agents then go and go do it there's more than enough information available out there for free now so if you just focused on just voice agents and stayed in there built an agency around it uh, you can build your own community and info around it you can build a SaaS around it like uh, like brendan has again his, his podcast will be down in the description below but there's seriously so much potential in the voice ai space right now and i think it is a really really great thing to bet on number two ai workflow automation now i know you're going to roll your eyes and be like lean you've been talking about the crap for years now there's a reason for that it's because it's a very very valuable thing that businesses need right now and we've seen the explosion of kind of the na10 sphere um obviously make.com was was really big for a long time these ai workflow automations are really 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 good at providing a ROI for small businesses. Um, so if you're looking to just ease into the space and start to build a business around it, this just generally as a skill set, if you get into it and build a skill set around that, um, you are going to be able to make money regardless. So if you're going into communities on school, like the fitness communities or the coaching or info ones, you can kind of go in there and start to talk about the cool AI automation stuff you're doing for them. Take that AI automation skill set and make money from it. There is still so much left to be gained there. And I also want to point out that we are starting to see a really big advancement in the kinds of tools that we get to build on. So you guys may have seen text to workflow, what you can call like a vibe automation, where now you're not even having to build things manually. Linda, you can you can just type it in text box and it does the work for you. To be honest, it didn't end up working unfortunately um but in a 10 you just write a prompt it builds the workflow out you go uh like, i'd like to change this and then we'll build it out it's becoming easier and easier and easier for us as freelancers or as ai agencies to be able to deliver these kinds of systems and you might say oh that means it's going to be easier for people to come in and do it themselves end of the day very few businesses are going to jump in and do the ai automation themselves so ai workflow automation as a whole there's something to bet on for the next one two three years is great for beginners who have extra time and are willing to learn the skills because you're getting things like the vibe automation text workflow things coming so it's going to get even easier i still think that's an excellent place to be investing your time and the third one is vibe coding uh, but being able to use these ai coding tools to be able to create software if you're coming into this as a complete beginner being able to wrap your head around something like lovable and then progress to something like cursor or to something like claude code and be able to build software i would start off with selling kind of basic websites and landing pages to businesses you can create the thing before you even try to sell the thing so you can go find a business near you and look at them and they've got a crap website you can go and vibe code up your own version of it that's way better and looks a lot nicer and does maybe even does a whole lot more walk in and say hey i built this for you do you want it and you get to show them the gap between like where you are and the end result is just shrunk down to basically nothing you can now go in and, and present these to businesses it's going to make the sales part of it so much easier maybe you go on to udemy and find a agentic engineering or a vibe coding advanced course if you have to bet on something over the next one, two, three, four years, you can fully become a developer these days just by starting small with you, starting with your websites, moving into after that. Maybe you want to build some basic web apps for your clients and say, hey, is there any kind of internal software you want to build? Uh, you want to maybe create a create a custom tool for you to use internally. OK, great. I could I could I could cook that up for you and you just gradually build these skills. And before you know it, within a year, 18 months, you're, you're like a fully fledged developer like as long as you pick up the complementary skills along the way like knowing how to use github uh, knowing how to deploy things knowing how to manage a code base but you can essentially become a developer through this kind of 
gradual ease into it while making money along the way. So this new form of like AI native developer or who can sort of prompt their way to something. And I think that's a very interesting path to look. And if I was, man, if I was 18 again, if I was, man, if I was like 15, I would just be all over these things. It's so cool. You get to learn coding and learn to build software um, without having to go through all the ugly stuff that it takes to get there initially. So yeah, I think it's a good thing to bet on, a good way to get into selling AI services or just building an AI skill set. Um, and obviously the world is run by software these days. So I think this is a particularly interesting one for anyone who's really looking to set themselves up for the future. And that brings us to number four. We have AI image generation and AI video generation. AI creative uh, is just absolutely exploding right now. We've seen these leaps forward with Sora. We've got incredible stuff coming out from basically every video and image generation model provider. Crazy stuff coming out of China in terms of like the, the deep fakes and stuff like this. It is going crazy. And I've seen some guys on Instagram who are absolutely crushing it right now who are making videos, breaking down how to use these things. They've got like courses and stuff around it, teaching people how to do it. Um, whether you're just gonna learn it yourself and then teach it to other people, or you can try to build these into systems for businesses. There's so much to be gained on these creative uh, systems, whether it's generating like dozens and dozens of campaigns, and then you go in there manually and check them out. But it's also getting to the point where you can do kind of like looping systems. If you can combine an AI workflow automation skill set with these new tools, and you're able to create like, hey, I want you to generate 10 images and then I'm going to tell you to identify which out of those 10 are good and like reprompt it to tweak. Like this stuff is ridiculously powerful and it is really yours for the taking at this point. So AI video and image generation, if you block everything out and just focus on solving business problems with it, focus on teaching people it, there is no way in one, two, three, four, five years you are not rolling in the dough, all right? If I was starting again, I'd be happily jumping straight into that and just putting all my eggs in that basket as goes for, for all of these things. I will say that a key thing about that image and video generation is the underlying AI workflow automation skill set that will allow you to get more out of it. So there's one thing to be able to go onto Google AI Studio and like kind of prompt away and get some cool results with it. But being able to take that or like finding some kind of IP or, or strategy and then baking that into an automation where you can sort of really crank up the volume and, and use uh, get a lot more leverage out of it, in my opinion, is really where the money is to be made. And then finally, getting to number five, AI consultant is actually a very good thing to be looking at right now. I've been a little bit skeptical and hesitant to recommend people going in kind of raw into the AI consulting space without necessarily running an agency, just because I know like, to build up the, the secret source around how businesses can benefit from AI. There is an element of you need to go out in the world, you need to break things, you need to see what works, see what doesn't, see what is over promising and what is, is uh, like a realistic capabilities of this technology. And I don't want to create a spawn a whole army of these AI consultants who probably make the bubble even worse by going out and promising all these things to businesses. Keep in mind, be hesitant to not like think you're the bee's knees just because you've watched a couple of videos and you caught slapped AI consultant in your LinkedIn bio. But there is a, a, a huge need for consultants right now. Um, doing AI audits is absolutely ripping for basically every agency that I've, uh, I've spoken to over the last while. And so these AI audits where you can go in there and you sort of have a little dig around the company, you interview a bunch of people, I've broken into full process down that we do at Morningside on a video I'll link at the end. The AI consultant who goes in and can do consulting and then connect to partners, if you want to find them, go into my free school community or in paid communities. So if you start off as a consultant, you're going to need to create content in some way to build your credibility because no one's going to trust you um, if you haven't got any kind of number to your name or past results. The main thing about consulting is that if you're not coming from an agency, you're not coming from like development up to consulting, like like we did at Morningside and, and what most people who are doing it right now have done. If you're just coming from the top down and going, oh, I'm a consultant and I've never done development before, your why people should trust you needs to come from the consulting results, which is a lot more difficult and, and less tangible than a development result. So you kind of need to go, oh, I've done consulting for like these three companies before and they gave me these glowing testimonials. So that's one form of proof. Another one would be they actually applied what you said and they got certain revenue lift or cost reductions and stuff like that. So that's the tricky part about purely starting as an AI consultant with no background. But if you've got the content going, you're making a bit of a buzz and you're starting to take uh, consulting call bookings and start sort of selling those onto audits, maybe $500,000, $2,000, depending on how much uh, proof you have. At the end of the audit, you will see and say, hey, um, I reckon for these ones, you should go to this agency or these ones, you go to this agency and you're sort of passing them off to the right people and taking a cut, of course. And then once you've got a bit more momentum, you have the, the revenue and the income to be able to hire a developer yourself and then start to actually build an agency around that. That's why I think 
long term if you were to go the AI consultant route, build out into an agency, start to get that up and running, and then maybe look for SaaS opportunities as well, then, then you'll be very good. So that's five different ways that I think if you're looking into 2026 are absolute locks. What you guys need to be doing is focusing on building your skill set and these things that I've established here, whether it's voice agents, vibe coding, AI workflow automation, AI video and image generation, AI consulting. There's a skill set underneath each of those and you should only really be focusing on the news in that area, but everything else is just noise. So just going into 2026, guys, there is still so much left on the table here for all of us. I really do just hope that you guys can make the jump and I hope this has helped you to kind of narrow down to something that you can focus on. And like I said at the start, picking these should depend on what you feel the most interest towards. Uh, try them all. Something is going to spark. And once you have that spark, you, you're just, you're gone from there. And that's exactly what happened to me. That's happened to basically everyone else I know who's been successful, but you have to find that spark and that thing that you're interested in. So that is all for the video, guys. If you want to know how we do our consulting at Morningside AI, I've broken down the whole damn thing, how to automate any business with AI, it's going to be up there. As I mentioned, there'll be links down to my voice AI podcast in the description below and some of the other ones that are related to what I've talked about here today. That's all. I'll see you in the next one.